Good morning guys, Rich at Rivera Urban Homestead. This is Tuesday morning, the first morning back from our trip to St. Augustine. We had a great time, I might put a little video together about that. So we're just gonna run around and do some Tuesday morning uh, chores. Christine is at a working interview right now at a, a new dental office, so hopefully that goes good for her. But for now I'm just in here topping the tomato plants a little, they're getting kinda long, so I'm just kind of topping them off so they quit growing high. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the reason I top my tomato plants is because I don't want them to keep growing long and hanging over everything. So I literally just find the tops of the main shoots and clip off the tops. That way it'll promote more bushier plants versus long. So this is too tall. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That looks good for this one. Let's go to the next one. There you go, even if there's some flowers, you got to do it. Okay guys, there you go, just that easy. You just top off the ends, that way they don't grow longer. Now they'll just be stockier, bushier plants from here on out. We are getting a lot of good tomatoes going. Oh, I'm in the sun. Some beautiful black vernissage right there. That's really cool. And it is starting to really produce some. So yeah, we're going to try them out here pretty soon. This one here, the Boxcar Willie, it did not need topped because, I mean, it is a big, thick plant. If you can see this stem right here, let me get you in there. This thing is, it's huge. Very, very strong plant this is. And some tomatoes are starting to come. Not too many, but this plant is just short and thick naturally it looks like oh look here guys one of our favorite things to grow our little Korean dark green and look look at the peppers starting yes indeed Korean dark greens in our future there's a nice clutch of the Cherokee purples I love those those are real yummy Purple jalapenos growing. Yeah, we're getting some peppers, guys. Look at the purples. Look. Okay, guys, so I got this tomato plant in the pot here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So what I was thinking, let's do a little experiment. Let's move the pot. Let's just kind of get any of this weeds out of here real quick. Okay. Dig a little trench. Okay, and then we're going to lay the pot at the other end. Like this. We're going to lay the pot down like that, and then this lower one down here, we're going to cut anything that's hitting the ground. And take them off from the bottom here. And this stem is just going to be under, on the ground, okay? And we're just going to cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. Because they say it can grow roots, right, from the stem. So, we're going to cover that up like that. See how that does in there. And then this one, I'm just going to put a bamboo stake up and hold it up like this. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, fun little experiment. And then what I'm thinking is that one that I put underground obviously will grow roots. It'll start growing up. That other one will grow up. And we just got to water that 
keep that pot watered and then the roots that come off of here literally just laying down and letting letting it grow while we're out here one more thing I did yesterday is I weeded all this but I just laid it right back in the bed to cover the soil and it'll compost down by itself right inside the bed so you can do that too if you don't have a compost pile you can weed and just drop your weeds right there the earth will take it back in okay, so as you can see the garden is nice and healthy it's getting fruit everything's going really good now we got to continue to keep it healthy we got to feed the soil so let's go make some compost tea in the back to feed these plants throughout the hot summer that way they produce fruit all summer long that's a big old pelated woodpecker whoop it just flew where'd it go pelated woodpecker don't eat too much of my tree all right guys so i haven't made compost tea in a while but i don't get too technical about it i have this trash can here the lid i cut out and i just put screen on it and the rain water just catches in here and it's pretty much full right now from just the rain we've got throughout the year all i'm going to do is grab my shovel I'm gonna go get some of our good chicken compost out of the chicken run and just dump it in here, stir it in, and that'll release all its nutrients. You could even put leaves and stuff in there to draw some of the minerals out. And you just mix it every once in a while, like once a day you come out, mix it, and then you just feed your garden with the water. And it's almost, it's just organic fertilizer, basically. So let's go get some chicken manure. Okay. And I also have some nice composted leaves I'm going to throw in there. Some nice leaf mold. And also I have a bag of black cow manure. I'm going to just grab some of that and throw it in there. Some black cow. Find me a stir stick. Okay, so once a day I'll come and stir it. Now I'm just going to let it sit. I watered yesterday, so when I water probably Thursday, maybe tomorrow, we'll use some of that along with the regular hose. So while I was back here doing my compost tea segment, came across this snake skin. It's a pretty good sized one. <laughs> that is cool, man. Good sized snake. He's definitely eating smaller rodents for me, so that's nice. Keep up the good work. That's cool. This is the area I was preparing to lay sod, but instead I guess I'm laying dogs down. It's all nice and mixed up. It's probably nice and cool. Does that feel good? Don't dig in there. She's such a digger. I gotta get something laid there because it's just nice dirt and she will dig. Hmm. So there you go, guys. It was a tomato topping Tuesday. <laughs> And also compost tea making. We're going to do another video this weekend. I'm not sure on what yet, but we'll get there. So top your tomatoes to keep them strong and bushy and get some compost tea going. You can even go to the feed store and buy bagged manure. Like I put some of the black cow manure in there. You can buy the chicken manure, mix it in, mix some leaves in there. Just get that. It's like a, it's like a smoothie that we do. We get all our vegetables, we mix it all together and drink it same concept with compost tea so make some get it in your garden that's it for now guys y'all have a good day we'll talk to you later